that show title ideas as I come up with them to get them out of my system. LOL! Deal! First on the list, your body is a temple grandin. Ha <laughs> ha! January 20th, 2.20 p.m. Bad title ideas around two. A clitoral hood. New message. <laughs> with a picture of an all-lady street game or something. New message. I'm doing an improv set tonight at 8 if you want to come. He, he doesn't, doesn't want to come! <laughs> clitoral hood, huh? Well, that's messed up. Or is it fucking genius? In all caps. New message, 4.16 p.m. Bad title ideas around three. The philosophical edition. Hit me, LOL. The myth of syphilis. Do you think the audience would get that? No! New message. Tyler Perry presents the complete works of Albert Camus. Do you think the audience will get that? No! New message. Existential beatdown. New message. Existential beatbox. New message. White wine flight. New message. I kind of like that one. New message. Or maybe white wine. Spell W-H-I-N-E. <laughs> well, why are you at work, Willie? I'm hitting my creative fucking stride over here. January 22nd, 1.04 p.m. So I've been thinking about the title, and none of the actors knew to boss. We didn't! <laughs> white flight is when white people move en masse to the suburbs because their neighborhoods start to diversify. Most people know what it is. We don't! I went to a state school, people. Like, does knowing the term white flight make me some elitist or something? It does! <laughs> See how indignant she gets there? I'm just not sure that it's super funny. <gasps> well, I don't give a shit if people get it. The title is clever. But if people get upset, then word of mouth might keep even more people from coming. Thanks for coming! I feel like we're going in circles here. <laughs> you are! We're being a tongue and cheek. She uses that phrase a lot. Okay, I'm in. So basically what you've got here is a sketch show about how everyone is the worst. We, we are the problem. A sketch show about insufferable white people. That's, That's us. us. And this is a fitting opening. Because, because really. What's more arrogant or insufferable than having the actors read a transcript of your own text message conversation? Seriously. This is called pandering. This is called pandering. Well, Welcome to White Wine Flight. partner at present time. 
All the more reason to provide yourself some release, my friend. Down we go.
high school. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> yeah. I, I went to bed until I was 12. Uh, I had a lingering crush on my sixth grade English teacher. Uh, I have wrecked so many cars. Like, <laughs> so many. <laughs> and, and my class is full of comic books and action figures, mostly because my apartment is full. And, uh, oh, and, and last year I proposed to a girl after being together for four years, and, and she shut me down. Like, way down. <laughs> that sucks. It does. I'm sorry. Look, you and I have been online with me for both probably a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. But um, on the plus side, we're a few minutes to date Numero Uno, and we've already got a crazy up for me. Yeah, Numero Uno was gross. Yeah, I heard it. You're sweet. Can I buy you a coffee? Let me buy you one. I am also a feminist. <laughs> yeah, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Men and women are different, am I right, guys? Your mama's so fat. How fat is she? Your mama's so fat. Your mama's so dumb. Your mama's so poor. Your mama's so skanky. Men and women are different. Am I right, guys? Guys, you notice how women have to be so many different things. Like, we have to be sexy, but not slutty, and flirty, but not too aggressive, and experienced, but not too aggressive. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> we'll let you in here. I'll take a ginger ale. Oh. <laughs> Men and women are different. Am I right, guys? You know how when you're making love to a woman? Kinda. You know how when you're making love to a woman and she gets to moaning? <laughs> Kinda. And it's like, bitch, shut up, you're gonna wake up the whole neighborhood. You know how when you've got a girlfriend? Kinda. And she gets a bitchin' at you? Just bitch, bitch, bitch. It's like, bitch, shut up, I'm watching the game. <laughs> Dumb bitch. You know how awkward that first date is? Uh, the check comes and it's like a bomb the two of you have to jump on it quick. But if he pays, then he might expect a little something in the bedroom. It's like, you bought me some room temperature spaghetti. Don't act like I owe you anything. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> are you dating one performers? Men and women are different. Am I right, guys? Rape joke! Rape joke! Rape joke! Men and women are different. Am I right, guys? You know how some people... You know how some bitches... You know how some sluts... It's not at all self-aware... Are so needy... Are, are so desperate to get married... Dumb bitch. I was watching this movie the other day. Rachel! Remember how in college? Rachel! Have you been following this election? Rachel! You know how fucking angry I get sometimes? Whoa! Someone's on her period. Men and women are different. Am I right, guys? Where are all the ladies at tonight? You know how one in three women in the world will be assaulted in her lifetime? Whoa! Over the line! This is why women can't do comedy. I'll take a ginger ale.
Oh, and my nickname in college was Roofy Pete.
The art museum is better. We're going to put a pin in that, folks. Here's the bird. What is your problem? I have so many problems. Okay, it's <laughs> at home on the radio no. station. I probably won't get it. I just wanted to apply. No, no, Brutus! Harsh. What about the master plan, huh? We were supposed to be best friends slash platonic roommates until one of us got married or we both died together in a Thelma and Louise style car explosion. I never signed off. Your consent was implicit. I wanted to hold back, okay? I value your opinion. All right. That was true. Next up, we got a smooth little number coming at you. I'll let Carolyn tell you about it. Jazz is stupid. I'm sure you don't mean that, Carolyn. Jazz is stupid. It's garbage music, and people only pretend to like it. Like kale. Jazz is to music what kale is to smoothies. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go ahead and play that track. What's the point? Does anything even matter? Where do we go when we die? <laughs> That's right, Carolyn. Those are all things that might be said by a person with the blues. Or having an yeah. existential breakdown. Miles Davis with the blues, ladies and gentlemen. I feel as though... Monsters, you not have to Harsh! Uh, you can't move! If we're not friends anymore, then what is the point? It's like, it's like hosting a jazz radio show for a college radio station at 3 in the morning means nothing! Carolyn. And I just got those shirts approved! Carolyn. Mine was going to say Weebering and yours was going to say Soft Noise. That sounds super funny! I hear it now! <laughs> I, I said some really mean things about the Jazz Museum in Kansas City. I know. And I love the Jazz Museum! I, I mean, Nelson Atkins is good too, but I love the Jazz Museum! I know. Carolyn. If I get this job, oh, she's a total baby. We will still be friends. We have to get older sometime. We're not in college anymore. Why not? <laughs> I love you. I love you too. I can come visit you, right? Of course.
can't believe it broke. It happens. And what's the point of going through all that? You know, hiding it from the cashier so she doesn't judge you and bringing it home and putting it on without looking like an idiot. It doesn't do the one thing it's supposed to do, its sole purpose. Relax, Paul. Condoms have never been 100% safe. Which is bullshit. How's it even legal? That's like, that's like selling someone a parachute and be like, here you go, shit open, might not, enjoy. <laughs> Well, it is kind of like that because there is a chance that the parachute won't open, but if you want to ride the ride, you gotta jump out of the plane. I think I got the wrong size, and that's how I broke it. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what if we get pregnant and our lives will be ruined? Uh, I'm not gonna get pregnant. Wait, how do you know that? Because I'm on birth control, and because I can stop by the store and get Plan B on the way home. Whoa! Don't I get a say in this? <laughs> sure. Give me 20 bucks. That's not funny. I don't agree with abortion. It's not abortion. It's just birth control. Well, maybe I don't agree with birth control. Says the guy with a 12 cal box of condoms in his hand. That are defective, Cindy. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Why, why is it such a big deal to you? I mean, don't you want us to be safe? Oh my God, STDs. I don't know where you've been. Seriously? I mean, I mean, I don't know how experienced you are. Uh, right now, how many people have you slept with? Uh, around 20? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there was a lot. There was double yes. oh, what? Why does that even matter? I'm not going to get into this. Look, I'm going to go. I, I, I don't see, see why this is such a big deal. I mean, you want us to be safe, right? It's my personal life, and it's my choice who I tell all this information to. We've only been dating a couple of months. Besides, when was the last time you were tested? Seriously? Tested on what? <laughs> STDs! Oh. Have you ever been tested? Well, I... I haven't been with as many people as you have. Oh, but... then fuck you, how dare you give me shit? Well, it's different, okay? There's like... there's... Seriously, how many people have you slept with? Well, let's see, there was... There was Cindy Hughes... Besides me... And, uh... Yeah, that's it. You what? were my, You were my first. Oh, why didn't you tell me? I think I just did. Not now, like before, like before we started having sex. Oh, it's private. And my sex life isn't? Well, it's different, okay? Because, like, when you're a guy and you're, like, not sexually active, like, it's just, you're like a leper, you know? There's so much pressure to lose it. And... Pressure. <laughs> mm hmm Pressure. Something I would never know anything about as a woman. Pressure. Everybody's telling me what to do with my body, and I, you know what? I, I thought that I could come here and that this was a safe place, that I wouldn't have to worry about that. But then all of a sudden, I'm getting the same thing from you, and I don't want to get into that. So I'm gonna go, and uh, you can call me when you're an adult. Bye. These are five bigger condoms. <laughs>
<laughs> and yeah, maybe I did trade my guitar for some peyote that I met in the bathroom at a bar. <laughs> and yeah, maybe I did smoke the whole thing before I figured out it wasn't peyote. <laughs> But you know what doesn't invest good because hallucinogenic drugs only help during the process. You know what? I don't regret it. You know why? Because I had an experience, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Just stand behind me on the line there. Oh, sorry. Oh, get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Somebody, somebody who listens to NPR. That's perfect. Keep going. Um, 
somebody who will listen to me. Somebody who, once I once they open the Nutella jar, they'll help me tell inside of it. <laughs> somebody who isn't a fuck up would be nice. Somebody who, mm, someone who isn't an overgrown frat boy because it's not cute anymore. And it was barely cute when we were in college. Preach. Oh, somebody who, ooh, ooh, somebody who, when we're out with friends, and he'll ask me, what do you want to drink, honey? And I'll say, sure, and nay. But when he gets down to the bar, he's going to give me a Pinot Grigio because he knows. Chardonnay is fucking disgusting. <laughs> okay? Oh, somebody, somebody who will give me migraine meds after I've had too much Pinot Grigio. <laughs> Somebody who won't call me names. Somebody, somebody who will only say I love you when they really mean it. Do you have anyone like that? I think we can take care of you. Yeah, I'll call you next week with some matches. All right. Thank you. <laughs>
not what I said. Right. So you just got out of a relationship? Not what I said. So your pet just died? Not what I said. So you think I'm out of your league. <laughs> it's okay, you don't need to be intimidated by me. Not what I said. Uh, so can I have your number? No. So what you're saying is you don't want to give me your number. Yeah, th that's exactly what I'm saying. But you might be willing to give another guy your number. Yeah, you're getting there. <laughs> Which means you just don't want to give it to me. You're almost there. <laughs> because you just don't like me? You did it! <laughs> Yeah. 